very common process within Revit is to export or print our sheets. In this video, we're going to take a look at both options, starting with printing. To print sheets in Revit, we go to File, Print. We'll select the printer that we want to use. In this case, I'm going to print to PDF. From there, we'll go to our settings and click Setup. And at this point, I want to pick the appropriate sheet size. And so we're using the E1 sheet. I want to make sure the zoom is set to 100% and the paper placement is set to center. By default, the reference and work planes will not be shown. Another option that's good to have turned off is to hide the unreferenced view tags. So if I have this checked, then what happens is if I have any extra views that were created, like these sections that you see here, those will not print. If I have that unchecked, then all of those view tags will show. So I'm going to check that. Go ahead and hit OK. You have the option when you make a, a few changes to the print setup to save it. For this case, I'll go ahead and say yes. And I'll call this one 30 by 42 PDF. And so anytime I go to print a 30 by 42 sheet, I can use that setting and I should be good to go. I'll hit preview to take a look at what my settings are going to do. This looks good. So I'll just hit close here. And I can go back in to print. And at this point, I can either print the current window, which is what we're seeing here, or I could change the option to selected views and sheets. Now, when I do that, what I need to do is I need to make sure that I'm either going to print each sheet as a separate file, or I'm going to have Revit combine the files into one single file. After that, I can hit select under selected views and sheets. And I can either print all of the views or just the sheets or both. So I'm going to go ahead and click uncheck views. And then I'll just check the two sheets that we've created in this lesson. Just like with the print setups, I have the option to save or save as for different view or sheet list settings. Since there's only two, I'm going to go ahead and just do it manually and hit OK. At this point, we're all ready to go. So we'll just hit OK, and it'll print to your desired printer. Export settings are very similar as well. So if I go to the file, export, a common thing that we do a lot is export to DWG. And this is not just sheets, but it's also views. So if I export to DWG, I can export this current sheet to a, a DWG file using any export settings that I may have. And those settings can be customized so that each different category within Revit can be kicked out to a specific layer. By default, we want to use the AIA standard, but there are a ton of other ones that you can get. For this exercise, we're going to use the default one. And one of the things that we can do here is we can do the same thing where we can do all of the sheets within our set. We can do just the current one, or we can even do all of the views in the model. And I can kick out CAD files of just about everything that we see here. For this exercise, we're just going to go ahead and do the sheets in the set and just this one. Once I've got it all set up, I can just click Next. It'll ask me where to save it. You can pick the location. And then one thing you want to do is you want to pay attention to this next part here. Each view on the sheet could be set up as an external reference. So that means I've got this view and the schedule. Those are the two things. If I leave the settings the way they are right now, those will both come out as two different files. But if I want it all as one file, 
I'll need to make sure that I uncheck that box and then I'll just get one file for this sheet. You can manually type in your file name or have it do it automatically, which is what we'll do here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and it'll export that CAD file for use later.